All right, up next we have Sarangi. Uh, definitely Sarangi here is uh, wins the award for the least used name around the kennel. I've certainly never had a dog named Sarangi before. Um, I think I'm saying that right. Um, she is an absolute sweetheart. Um, very kind, very lovey, very affectionate dog. Um, definitely what I see here is, is a dog who's well socialized. She's happy. Um, but, uh, it, we're definitely starting pretty much at the beginning with her obedience, especially her formal obedience. So, uh, what we're going to be doing for the next, oh, say six or eight weeks is working on, um, helping her take the things that she knows and get really good at them, but also teaching her several new things. And so there's a big difference between teaching something um, and then reinforcing something. So we're going to start by teaching by using our slip lead. Uh, the slip lead, of course, comes on and then it comes loose. That's the whole point of using the slip lead. Um, and we use that to communicate with the dog. So she's at the moment able to kind of tootle here around the, the shop and check everything out. Want her to be comfortable with the space and be comfortable with me. So we give her a minute to check the place out so she's not quite so uh, uptight. We do that with most of the dogs. Hey, baby. Hey. Here. Get down low. Get her to come to us. Good girl. Let me get the leash on. All right. So we're working on starting with the mat. Good girl. Let's sit. Good. Uh, she seems to work nicely for praise. She seems to uh, enjoy being told she's a good girl. Um. And what I'm doing right here is she's wanting to get out ahead of us. So I'm just giving lots of little bitty tugs on the leash. No, no big, no dragging, no staying tight. It's just got to be tug, tug, tug. You want her to feel just on and off, on and off. And that is usually the quickest way to get a dog to heal properly. Um, and then she comes into the, the home position here. She comes to heal and sits down nicely, which is what I want to see. This is the spot where if the dog is at heel, um, if she is sitting here beside us, um, it's pretty hard for her to do something uh, that's going to get her in trouble. So this is, this is where we want her to be. So we've got good on um, sit. She understands that command. Good girl. Um, and we've got good at walking on a leash. Good enough. I think we can start to say the word heel. Good. Heel. And every time she tries to get ahead, I'm just giving her a little tug. There, I only had to give her about three or four tugs to get around. Sit. Good job. Very nice. Okay, so now we're going to do one and come back. So we're going to go out, change direction. Here. Good. Heel. Sit. Good job. So there we're having a quick direction change, come into heel and sit down. Really like what I see there. So now, while we've got her at sit, I'm going to go ahead and keep her at sit and walk away from her just a little bit, giving her the idea that she's going to sit in places other than right beside me. Good. Sit. Sit. Good girl. So obviously, we, we lead this into, you know, sit and stay. I personally don't use the word stay. Some people do. Um, sit means sit down until I tell you to do otherwise. Sit. Girl, come back to the heel position. Heel, good. Here, heel, sit. Good girl, good. So I think Sarani is off to a great start. She's doing fine. Um, she's very, you know, easy going. Gets along great with everybody. No problems. So she's off to a good start.